presentation on why we need the UVM register abstraction layer, and we're going to show some ways to do some quick register modeling in Riviera Pro for faster verification. Okay. So we're going to go over what the UVM register abstraction layer is, what is it, why do I need it. Uh, we're going to go over the register layer structure, which will consist of the class and blocks. Uh, and then we're going to go over how we can model it and what the challenges are with that, and then how we can use the register abstraction layer flow which starts with register specification, model generation, and UVM environment integration. So the UVM register abstraction layer is a mirror of registers inside of a design. It can consist of memory, uh, registers, and address maps. And the reason you'd like to use it when verifying your designs is because it can create a portability of registers from design to design for designs that will contain the same registers, but you don't have to re-verify them over and over again. And it can be used in register models for verification test bench at a higher level of abstraction, Therefore, you don't have to go in and use different protocols for each register that you're really trying to access. Uh, so what's the layer structure for this? So first, you'll start with a class. So each register is configured using a class, um, using the class UVM reg. And inside of those, you'll fill out the fields and each one that can be accessed and how it will be accessed. And then those registers will be organized into a block where the register map will be declared. So how can we model this? There are a few challenges when it comes to modeling a register abstraction layer. For example, if there is protected IP that you'll be using, um, there can be issues being able to realistically be able to design those registers. Um, when you're doing these different uh, designs, you can also have multiple modules, which will increase the register count up to thousands. And therefore, it would become a very tedious task to try to write register models for each single register. And then there could be the last issue, which you might be unsure how to integrate it and be able to use it in your VM environment. So the main solution for getting around this would be using the automatic UVM generator that's available in Riviera Pro. The automatic UVM generator is a command line tool that you can apply in scripts or use in the console. And it uh, will allow you to generate multiple packages for your UVM register abstraction layer at once. You can use it to generate a test environment. And it also prov uh, provides IP register support. So the register abstraction layer flow uh, will start with the register specification, uh, and then you'll move into the model generation and UVM environment integration, which will take place inside of Riviera Pro. For register specification, you'll start with an IP exact or CSV file. IP exact is used for protected IP. Uh, it's usually uh, included with any IP that you uh, have. If not, there are some open source softwares that are available to generate an IP exact XML file. Um, you can also use a CSV file, which is a comma-separated value file. Um, you can specify register properties and uh, specify the registers inside of the CSV file, and then you'll be able to pass that through to the register generator. So for model generation, you'll use the register generator command line tool available in Riviera Pro. Um, these are some example arguments for IP exact or CSV files. As you can see, the first one is an IP exact description file. Um, where it indicates the version of the IP exact and then it indicates an output name and the file that will be used to generate this register model. The second one shows uh, using two different CSV description files, one that has fields, one that has register specifications. Um, and the, second, uh, the last one will be the merged uh, CSV description file, which will have all fields filled out in it entirely. So, and then we'll move to UVM environment integration. So uh, if you have an existing UVM environment, what you'll want to do is compile and import the register block packages into your UVM environment. So here we have import regdut package, which is the package that was generated by the register generator. After that, you'll want to instantiate the register model, um, which will be done using um, the regmodel.build and regmodel.lock model. And then after that, you'll want to set the sequencer and adapter in the model map. Uh, and this is where you'd want to write the adapter class that would be written by you. If you want to integrate this into a new UVM environment, you can use the register generator command uh, with test case to generate a simple UVM environment, which will allow you to uh, have it already integrated. This is useful if you don't have an environment or if your environment is too complex to verify the register model. And then here's a couple examples of where you can reference register models and tests, sequences, or components. Um, so we have it referenced in the main phase, a reset phase, and a configure phase. And then here we'll take you to a live demo showing how to use the tool. So here we have uh, the UVM CSV file uh, that we would be wanting to use for uh, pushing into the register generator to generate our register model. 
Uh, it's pretty simple and you have the properties up at the top and then everything else underneath is listed by column. Uh, we can also take a look at the XML file, which would be an IP exec format. And this also has, uh, it starts with the, uh, the component and then goes down to the memory maps and then to the address blocks. And then from inside the address blocks, you can generate or uh, you have your register models. Uh, so being able to parse this information yourself and generate a register model uh, would be a lengthy process. So we're going to go through the uh, sample command line tool that you can use for the register generator. Um, and I'm going to use this one up here, which will generate a, a register model and a test case using uh, a CSV file. So if I come down here, I can see the command here, and then I'll hit enter. And then it'll say that I've generated two files. And then we can come over to the file that was generated, which would be the uh, regdut package and regdut test case files. We'll reload them, and then we can see the information that was inside of that CSV file has now been uh, parsed and then uh, was able to generate an entire UVM uh, register model for that uh, register description file. And if we go over to the regdut test case, this is the simple UVM environment that was generated um, and instantiating the regdut model uh, inside of it. So in summary today, we went over why the UVM register abstraction layer is important to the verification flow, uh, how it can be modeled, the structure of it, and the way you can use the register generator, a part of Riviera Pro, to automatically generate models and integrate them into a UVM test environment. Thanks for watching.